This gives Infinity an opportunity with its replacement for the old G series. The Q60 comes in four trim levels, starting with the base car, $39,855, powered by a 208 horsepower 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder. The next step up is the 300 horsepower 3.0 liter twin turbo V6, which starts at $45,205. At the top of the heap sits the Red Sport 400, the model we drove here, a car named quite literally for the color of the S badge on its trunk lid and the power output of its upgraded twin turbo V6. The rear drive version of the Red Sport 400 starts at $51,300, with all wheel drive available for an additional $2,000. On the dollar per horsepower basis, that gives it an edge, one that's borne out in practice. The V6 revs quickly with minimal turbo lag, and it makes the Red Sport 400 speedy. It also makes a lot of high-pitched intake sounds without much exhaust noise. The Q60 sedan counterpart, the Q50 Red Sport 400, clocked 4.5 seconds for the 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint in our tests, and Infinity says the nearly 3,900 pound coupe weighs just 9 pounds more than the sedan. They share the same 7-speed automatic and gearing, so we expect equivalent straight-line performance. That said, the Q60's greatest weapon might just be its suspension. Dubbed Dynamic Digital Suspension, the adaptive system uses an unequal length control arm front and multi-link rear setup with computer control dampers to deliver a compliant ride that stands out in this class for putting luxury before sport. The Q60 has stiffer springs than the sedan, giving the coupe a button-down feeling even in the tightest curves on our drive. We went out of our way.